fine now we'll see about the form of a c program that is how a c program looks what are the different parts of a c program the first part of a c program is going to be a preprocessor statement so the first part is going to be a preprocessor statements that is anything which starts with an hash we call it as a preprocessor statement there are many a preprocessor statements provided by in a c language that is an hash include hash define hash if hash end if hash else okay hash undefined so all these are called as an preprocessor statement so here we are using a word preprocessor not as an processor statement that's because these statements gets executed before your program execution starts there is a stage called as a compilation stage and linking stage okay that both we call it as a compile time so these all statements will get executed during compile time hence they are called as a preprocessor statement more details about why it is called as a preprocessor statement will discuss about that this is going to be the first part of your c program and the second part is going to be something called as a global variable declaration so second part is a global variable declaration now in your c program you it's going to be nothing but a set of small small modules a c program is going to be nothing but set of small small modules so instead of calling it as a module you can call them as an functions so the whole c language software is going to be collection of like this functions okay now inside this function you want to store some data so for example you will declare an a variable and store in that a location 10 okay so to store a you need to specify you have to declare it so declaring is nothing but you have to specify what type of value you're going to store that's an integer and then a like this so there are different data types we'll be discussing even about that okay fine so this a can hold an integer value this is called as a declaration line now this a is been declared within this function okay same way inside this another function second function i'll declare here int x so in the third function i'll declare it into y so this a is declared in the first function you cannot access in the second and third function if you try to access it it will give an error message okay same way this x has been declared in the second function that x can be you accessed only within the second function you can use it only within the second function if you try to access that x variable somewhere in the first function or in the third function your compiler gives an error message that is that x variable this a variable is local to this fun first function this x is a local to the second function this y is going to be the local to the third function so because this a can be used only within that function where you have declared it so these variables we call them as an local variables but if i want to use a variable in all the three places a single variable has to be accessed in all the three variables then such variables has to be declared outside the function not within the function so here let's take for example the g variable is declared outside the function so this g can be accessed in all the three places all the three places hence we call this as global variables so local variables are the one which can be accessed within the function global variables are the one which can be accessed in any function so those variables those global variables has to be declared immediately after this preprocessor statement that's going to be the second part of your c program so after global variables then you can start your main function or else Like, like for example, this is one function. So as, as I said, your C program is collection of functions. So like this, you can have any number of functions written below this. So in that one function is going to be a main function. We'll see about that later. 
okay so this main function is the one which can whenever you run the program this is the first function which gets executed okay so one in your whole program there will be only one main function the rest all functions what you write we call them as an sub functions so your main function starts with an void main or int main open the curly brace this open curly brace is called as a start of your function and then inside this so as i said you this a is a local to this function x is a local to the second function same way all those local variables has to be declared immediately after your open curly brace so local variable declaration okay and then you can write here any number of c statements so let's take it as set of statements okay and then the function ends with an close brace this open curly brace is treated as an begin the function and this close curly brace is been treated as an end of the function so this is one main function so like that you can have here any number of sub functions so i can take up here one more function void we call them as an sub function and here within the sub function again you can declare local variables local variable declaration and set of statements and then close so like this n number of sub functions you can have in a program so this is how your c program looks we'll take a we'll take an example we'll take an example and see each and every part of that so once again i'll repeat it the first part of the c program is going to be a preprocessor statement second is going to be a local variable declaration and then the main function so within the main function you will be having a local variable declaration and set of statements this local variable declaration and set of statement is been enclosed within this open and close curly brace so like that you can have n number of even sub functions